Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day. On today's episode, we'll get into desperate modern women and their anger and drama. And we see this all the time in the dating profiles. Women list all kinds of stuff about how mad they are at men. They list, they've gone through a bunch of trauma, I guess. You know, we don't know what's really happened to them. Then they are, they're very dramatic and it's just not very attractive to men. It's, and it's not what we want. Let's get into it. So if you're your first time in the channel, this is uh, The Great Profile of Dev. We always start with The Great Profile. So she is 25. You can see she has a great little smile up there. She wanted people to connect through her Instagram and she lists her, her website. So she's doing some advertising of some kind. That's fine. She has lots of great pictures. So here's her, and she's a teacher. Here's her next picture. So you can see the little candid. She definitely is very, very fit. She works out a lot. And you're gonna see that in her profile. So now she doesn't even list this. She just says, she just shows herself working out. She doesn't list that I work out. She doesn't have to, she continues. Here she is painting something, so she doesn't say, I like to paint. She just has a picture of herself painting and she says, get together. We could, what a great prompt. It says, go dancing, rollerblade, try new food, be creative, hit up a farmer's market, hike, get a coffee or tea, cuddle and have a movie night. Always down to try something new. Ma'am, what a lovely son of <laughs> She didn't say perfect first date, like take me on all this stuff. She said, here's some things that we could do together. She acts like she actually wants to meet a man. Ma'am, you're doing it right. Again, she's very fit. She has another picture here. Here she is working out. I mean, you know, she's extremely fit in the legs and tall, she's 5'8". She says, this year I really wanna learn how to surf and scuba dive. It doesn't come off that she wants the man to do it necessarily. She just says, here's some things I'd like to go do. You know, again, she listed a bunch of things to do together, which is doing it right. She continues, here's her in the kitchen. I mean, she's showing her, again, you know, showing her, maybe she can't even cook, but she's showing herself in the kitchen at least. And then uh, the final picture, and she's got a great smile, what a you know beautiful person. And then here she is running, you know, in the outdoors. Doesn't say I'm outdoorsy, just shows herself in the outdoors. Ma'am, you are absolutely wonderful. Here is an ovation. God, if women would just come on here like this, I wouldn't even have a channel if they just would, you know, and you don't have to all be 25 and gorgeous. I mean, she, she is, you know, obviously genetically blessed. She's kept herself up. That's really what men are looking for. Fit, feminine, friendly. She's doing it right. Let's continue. So in the nonsense now, she's 40 and does medical records. This is about me. I'm a single mama of a gorgeous 11 year old boy. <coughs> Man, we don't care about your kids. It's fine that you have kids. Just put it down here and again. Here's another woman still in college at 40 years old. She continues. I work hard and love to get out and have fun. Looking for my penguin. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. I don't even know what you're talking about, ma'am. What the hell is, what do you mean you're penguin? Don't waste my time if you want a one night stand or don't dig curves. I'm not thin. That's a huge bitch. Then ma'am, why don't you go work out? I mean, this is so simple. It's so fixable, but no, you're going to get mad at men. And then this was her next picture. So here she is doing this goofy ass face. Ma'am, do you want to meet a man or not? I just. Nope. I don't even know what women are thinking sometimes in the apps. Like, why why not put your best foot forward? Look at the first profile. Just some lovely pictures of herself, doing some nice things, smiling at us. No, just these women have had so much trauma, gentlemen. I mean, they wonder why men don't want to take them seriously. They are in this area. Into the danger zone. And they just don't get why, why won't men commit to me? Because you're this kind of crap, ma'am. I mean, get, get a, just, you can't be serious. Let's continue. She's 43 and area manager and says about me. Here's the hoping there's a few nice guys left out there, ma'am. That's man shaming. Oh, hell no. Yeah, there's plenty of nice guys. You just said you ladies don't notice. You only notice about the, the between the five top five and 20% of men. All those other nice guys are invisible to you because you all want bad boys with tattoos. We continue. Swipe right if you think that's you. I have two kids, career focus, enjoying any free time I get. Don't care about your kids, man. They're your damn kids. Good for you, but we don't need to, why lead with this? Just talk about how awesome you are, but she's gonna continue actually looking for someone who's fun, doesn't take life too seriously, and okay with a woman who's not a stick figure. I've got healthy curves. That's a huge bitch. Man, we don't want her curves. <laughs> why don't you get to the gym and eat better? I mean, you just, this is again, so fixable, but they never, they just, I, I just don't know what to do. I just, you accept me for who I am. You don't accept men for who they are. Women always try to change men. You just, good lord. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. But you guys need to accept that I'm overweight. She continues. 
pair she is with her friend, and I don't even know which one she is, but then she's gonna give our second favorite. She gave the single mom starter pack. Now she's getting our second favorite, favorite quality in a person. She's gonna list many confidence, ambition, and sense of humor. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Oh, you all want ambitious guy. You all want Chads who are ambitious. Yes, we know. If they has to be a guy has to be on your level. You don't notice men who don't make as much money as you and continue. Here she is with her three kids, and then she's gonna do more man shaming and complaining. I hope you're ready. My personal hell is dating online. You guys are killing me. Haha. -ha. Looking to have fun? Great, let's do that. Stop overthinking it, and if we match, let's go out. Don't be weird. Or, here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Good lord, ma'am. You've got a picture with your kids on your dating profile, and you're gonna tell men to not be weird. Get your damn kids off your dating profile. And what do you mean they're killing you? What? Be you know, and this tells everything you need to know, by the way. She keeps matching with Chad and Tyrone, and they keep trying to get, come over and pump and dump, and she doesn't, because she, she can't resist those hot guys, because she thinks she deserves a really hot guy still, who makes her a bunch of money, and she doesn't get it that you're well into here. Into the danger zone. You're not going to get the same guy you you know, could have got when you were 20s, man. You should have locked that guy down way sooner and probably not left your husband. Let's continue. So she is 42 and says, Something that's non-negotiable for me is, if any of your picks are Snapchat bunny picks or filtered, leave that to the ladies. Dirty shoes. If you hate kids. If all your picks are in cap and dark glasses. Or if you have your Instagram in your bio, that's a good thing. Nope. Yeah, ma'am. Yep. You sound like a, you love social media and then you're going to shame men for what they do. <laughs> First of all, ma'am, how many guys have their pictures of their shoes on their profiles anyway? That's just stupid. Also, now, the, the biggest thing here is that she says all your pics are a cap and dark glasses. So basically saying, you know, don't be fake about what you look like. But then this was her next picture. So her picture is super filtered and her other pictures were the same way. LIAR! You can't make this up. Yeah, you men need me better, but I can be as filtered and wear a bunch of makeup as possible. So, <laughs> and then she says, never have I ever win skydiving, ma'am. You should go on your own because you, I'm going to give you this. We continue. So she's 53 in medical travel at Nunya. So, you know, she's already mad at us and she gets, she's going to start by saying about me, small town country girl. I want to learn the history here and meet new people with similar interests spelled incorrectly. Nice looking with no <laughs> capitalization, intelligent. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah, intelligent. I can't even spell and or do any sort of grammar chat. Okay, she continues, has time and <clears throat> has time to spend and wants to know one another. This meeting thing sucks. Ghosting assholes, such little boys, please have current pictures. And she just yelled at us too. Stop whining. Ma'am, what the hell is this? You're 53 and you're here with a bunch of anger and vitriol. Why don't you take a break then? I'm so sorry Chad keeps coming over and destroying you, but that's not on us. That's on the men you choose. You all, you all ladies only swipe on four and a half percent of profiles. We just did a pro. If you watch my last episode, it's definitive evidence. Most women don't find any, most men attractive at all. They only find like one in a hundred men, even very attractive. You can't make it up. And then she's going to sit there because you it's just right. Very clear. Yep. You're matching with Chad. He's ghosting you because he doesn't care. And you're judging all men off the very sliver, small sliver of men that you guys hook up with. Tough crap. We continue. She's 42 in strategic marketing, says about me, snarky, awkward, extra to introvert, once I'm comfortable, have a great job, never married, no kids. We don't like the snarky crap, ma'am. Why do you have to be snarky with us? Don't get it. I don't want to have kids, but it's cool if you already have them. Okay, ma'am. I'm plus size. If you're not in the larger ladies, swipe left. That's a huge bitch. Well, ma'am, we're never in the larger ladies. Sorry. That See, I had this argument too. That's well, discussion with someone the other day. She's like, there's a lot of guys into overweight women. No, they're not. There's a very small percentage of, of men into overweight women. And I would argue that most of those guys are only into overweight women because they have to be. There's a, I've, I've not met one man who's like, I really like big chicks. Not one. 
So, but the women think that this fairy, you know, of course the guys are highly attracted to their only swiping on Chad. By the way, she's got this. I'm a PhD. They're only swiping on Chad and then they're like, why isn't he into me? Because ma'am, Chad's are not into overweight women, ma'am. How many, how many sports stars you see with big women? How many athletes, how many guys who are fit are with, you don't because they don't want them. We continue. Please non-smokers only and actually take the time to read my bio. Okay, ma'am, sure. She continues though. And you see her, she's average. I mean, she's not even average. And she's swiping on Chad's. You can't make this up. She continues. What makes a relationship great is communication, connection, and chemistry. Please be willing to chat here for a bit. There's a reason we have a chat function. Then we can share personal information. <laughs> Ma'am, the guys who are going to try to get you off the app to try to pump and dump are not going to read this and go, oh, okay, she doesn't want me to do that. They're just not going to do it. Just get it out of here. You need to be <clears throat> take a step back. Women need to be selling themselves to men on these dating apps, not the other way around. If they want the men that they desire, they need to be fit, feminine, friendly, and be kind, and then let the men come to them. But no, even though, and she probably still gets thirsty simps going after her. I just can't even imagine it, but they, she probably still gets guys, but she doesn't find all those guys hot. So she's going to sit there and man shame. Tough crap. We continue. And you, I got to play it. Sit here and man shame. She's not even a three or a two and man shame men and get angry. And you just can't make this up. I'm a real nerd about playing board games, card games, word games, writing my job, grammar. Wait, <laughs> wait, what's, wait, hold on. Wasn't she the one? Let me go. Wait a second. Is this this one? Okay, no, it was, it was the one before. <laughs> I had to like, okay, all right. All right, fine, ma'am. I was gonna be like, great. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, I'm hoping you aren't just in the air on vacation looking to hook up. I'm looking for an actual long-term relationship. Yeah, I'm one of those. Hope you are too. Nope. Not with you, ma'am. <laughs> There's no man who's gonna take you seriously. Certainly not a man who you're into. Absolutely no way. Get your life together. Deal with your trauma and drama. Get fit, feminine, friendly, and maybe you'll find a man. But right now, ma'am, this is what men are doing to you. <laughs> we continue. She is 44 and says about me, lover of Jesus, cheese, tacos, memes, and all things purple. Boy and cat mom, drama free. No ENM or FWB looking for my last, first date. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Ma'am. No one makes you women get into friend with benefit situations. If you do, that's on you, not men. Putting this here is just stupid. You're getting into those situations because you're fine. You're getting probably swiping way above your price range because this is her picture. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. That's a huge bitch. Oh my God, ma'am. And then she says, I'm hoping you have your life in order. Stop the cap. Ma'am. There is no way you have your life in order when you're the size 28. You've got to be kidding me. And of course, she still wants, and you can read it right here, believe in chivalry and are kind, honest, loyal, and caring. How about new? Ma'am, you don't get chivalry when you're this big. I'm sorry. You should be lucky any man wants to spend any time with you, much less as he gets. <clears throat> Take a step back. Chivalry is earned. Women, the woman is a movement, gave you all equality. Now that you're equal, you don't get chivalrous outcomes. You don't just get car doors open for you for absolutely no reason. You have to become what men want, and then you'll inspire chivalry, not the other way around. We continue. So she's 44 and a flight attendant says about me, a mother of three adult daughters. Oh, hey! What does it matter if they're adults then just don't even put it it doesn't even matter then you're not we're not going to meet them anytime soon does it oh my god work so much it hurts then ma'am it sounds like you don't have any time to date i but i'm just gonna continue i am entertaining the idea of adding a man into my crazy life red flag stop ma'am <laughs> why would a man want to come into your crazy life do you, do you don't even they don't even get it they just, they get punch drunk on here with all the options. They think they can just pick 
any man they want and guys gonna know what the man has to be it has to be a good deal ma'am men are not going to give you a relationship unless it's a good deal for the man don't you see that she continues just be warned i am not looking for a man to talk sexually to me and fe make me feel like a piece of meat please treat me with respect <laughs> Ma'am, the average man, okay, not the men you guys keep hooking up with, Chad and Tyrone, and the few guys that actually get better in front of these apps, the average guy gets treated with very little respect. You gentlemen, put in the comments how many friends of yours, or maybe even you yourself, are being ignored by women who don't get treated with respect because they're not, you know, they're not the most handsome guy ever, whatever the hell it is. And women just think they're just entitled to quote unquote respect or whatever it whatever it is. You keep matching with guys on the app who do this stuff to you, okay? Not every guy sends D pics, not every guy goes right to bedroom fun stuff, but the, a lot of the hottest guys do it because they don't care. If a guy starts doing it, just delete the match. Putting it out here just tell, tells us everything we need to know that you're matching with <laughs> Chad and Tyrone and they're pumping, dumping and leaving you and you get mad about it, we continue. So she did not give her age and she's an attorney and you see this picture, so this is her on her stomach She's naked. I had to censor it because it actually had this bad um, you know, tramp stamp tattoo and then one on her upper back as well and then showing her actual butt. Okay, so just to keep that. Now, she also has this. I'm a PhD. <laughs> you can't make this up. She then says about me, my interests are here on here are a lie. It's true that I'm a lawyer though. It's also true that I hate lawyers. <laughs> Ma'am, what the hell? <laughs> it's just... Why Why did you have to lie about your your interests? What does it matter? But she's going to continue with nonsense. I'm an educated hillbilly, independent and happy. If you're going through something, finding yourself, or in a period of self-reflection, fuck right off. I'm not looking for a hookup, but I'm not looking for a husband either. Douchebags need not apply. Or, here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f*** up. Ma'am, who the hell do you think you are coming at men like this? You sit here and have a basically naked picture on your Tinder and then gonna talk all about how we're douchebags and all this crap. Get out of here with it. <laughs> you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. Oh, let's send her on her way. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. Let's continue. So she's 32 and says, I like Star Wars, stand-up comedy, Neopets, books, horror, cartoons, anime, and witchcraft. Yep. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> yep. So she's big kid. Our age has not. She's one of those modern, blah, one of those modern women who's not gotten at perpetual age of fifteen. Boy, that was sorry, bad sentence for me. Uh, I own a craft and candle and bath supply business. I'm ASD and keep my hyper fixations rotating. Love random knowledge daily. Finding new music and film, art, history, and psychology are some of my interests. Okay, ma'am. And novice notice patterns everywhere. I'm also highly intuitive talkative and sensitive okay now she says all this then she says this next thing don't add me please anti-patriarchy prefer no christians absolutely no trumpers if you think i'm a cunt good you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up you just can't make it up so wait a minute you're <clears throat> you say you're highly intuitive talkative and sensitive and all this crap but then you're gonna say to us if you think i'm a cunt good <laughs> just women i mean gentlemen I, I just don't get it i don't get why you'd ever come on your dating profile this is a dating app this is not your own facebook this is not reddit this is not some online bulletin board you're gonna tell us about all your you know stuff you're going through and then say this stuff to us then ma'am don't date really we don't need you here here do this fuck this shit i'm out Let's continue so she's 53 and says, my heart has been shattered into a million pieces and I'm dying. I just need distractions to heal up from this extreme pain. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't stop crying. Not interested in falling in love ever again. Then ma'am, what the hell are you doing on this app? <laughs> I just, I don't get it. How about new? <laughs> Maybe you should take a little more time, but she's gonna give exact dates here. You can't make it up. She continues. I will never put myself in this much pain again. I am just willing to try everything to heal and be okay again. I feel like I won't survive like I am. 
It's been since 2-17-23. Apparently the man I gave my full heart and soul to just pretended it was all a big lie and I'm an idiot and... I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Man, we don't, sorry for whatever the hell happened with this guy, but maybe you should take some more time off, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculous. Why would you put this? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so stupid. I just, I just can't believe you would do a profile. I saw this. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Oh man. It's just so stupid to talk to men like this and just, ma'am, then go to therapy. This is your damn dating profile. This isn't therapy. Let's continue. So she is 42 and a program manager and says about me. In a complicated situation, have a life in a, in a guy who I don't know what to call him. I guess I'm looking for couples I can play with or girls I can relate with, or maybe even I can share the dude that I don't know what he is to me. I'm open to what makes you comfortable. But you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? So this lady's in some sort of situation ship with Chad. And then it's like, maybe I can have, I can you know, go on bedroom phone with a couple, or then maybe I can bring Chad over as well. And then the, the, she's a mom. She continues. I have kids. I have a dog. I'm not ever going to meet someone for a quickie. Bim, didn't you just talk about meeting someone for a quickie? Liar! Then what are you talking about? You literally, you literally just said you want to have bedroom phone with a couple. That's a quickie. <laughs> oh my God. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. No. <laughs> I, I might not even, well, I probably would have put her on the show anyway, but then this was her next picture. Oh, hell no. You, <laughs> so, she, <laughs> so, so Chad's pumped and dumped her or whatever he's happened with, she's in a situation with Chad. And then she's going to get on her dating app, say she wants bedroom fun with a couple or with Chad. Then says, I won't meet for a quickie. And then in her next picture, she's going to flick us off. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ma'am, go get some therapy, ma'am, and take some time off, huh? Why don't you try that? Really, let's move on. So she is 47 in medical distribution and says, about me, I'm thick and curvy with tattoos. That's a huge bitch. Good for you, ma'am. We don't want thick and curvy women with tattoos. She continues. This seems to be a problem here, I guess. Yeah, it's sure. <laughs> You're a winner. Exactly. No game playing or hookups. No time for that shit. If your profile pics are fake, don't bother. Catfishing is childish. Grow the fuck up. I'm a pretty cool ass female if you want to get to know me. Oh my God. Who the hell is? Cash, ma'am, you are well past here. The ball, the ball, the ball. No man on earth can make you fall. And you think that you're gonna sit here and go, I'm a big woman with kids, and then come with anger and vitriol and think a man's gonna take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, ma'am. She continues. <clears throat> she then says, We'll get along if you're affectionate open-minded and spontaneous, like sports, concert, festivals, traveling. <laughs> we know what that means, boys. One million dollars. <clears throat> well, and being outdoors to name some likes, and then she's gonna, of course, she, even though she's overweight and has a bunch of tattoos, she's gonna say, of course she wants Chad with beard and tattoos to the front. <laughs> If you'd like bearded Chad, wouldn't you, ma'am? You know, see, this is what, this is the problem, okay? Women come on here and you see so many of these women are overweight and they still want guys, that they still want sexy guys. Overweight women don't want overweight men. We've seen the evidence, we've seen the proof. They only swipe on Chad. They don't want overweight, overweight men. A man who's overweight, who's who's her equal, she would see beneath her because she can't make enough money. He's not ambitious enough. He, she can't bring him around in friends and go, look who I bag. She continues. It's, I've already played it, so you bit another big woman here, and I don't know why she's at the gym showing us his gym selfie. A terrible picture says a pro and con of dating me. I have a big heart, but Lord, this mouth. It's 
a quintessential modern woman profile, gentlemen. This is the last one of the day, by the way. It's, it's everything wrong. She's overweight. She's full of anger. She needs therapy. She's been pumped and dumped by Chad and Tyrone so many times, and now she's mad about it. She continues. She then says, I'm known for being brutally honest, no filter unless absolutely needed, and my damn eyes rolling, not looking for a hookup. Don't waste my time or yours if that's all you want. Stop whining. Ma'am, grow up. Seriously, you have made choices in your life. It's called accountability. You've chosen to eat whatever you wanted. You woman is not let you, you know, have bedroom fun, whatever you wanted. And now I hear you almost 50 years old, full of anger and vitriol toward men and think this is some man, some high quality man's going to read all this and go, oh, I'll save you. Well, we're not going to do it. How about new? Let's send her on her way. And I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for not watching another episode of Dane Delusions. I really do appreciate all the support and all the new subscribers. If you did like the content and you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and click that right now. I really appreciate it. It's free to do. It helps me out. If you did like the video, give it a like. And we'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.